even with a brand new developmental division. This year's modified division field is made up of mostly rookies. Of the 42 full-time drivers starting the season, a record 29 of them are rookies. Only 13 drivers from last season, including the reigning series champion Tina Lee, have returned for 2012. We also have a new manufacturer in the modified division, as Juno have joined the ranks. 2012 will be the modified division's biggest year ever, with the brand new five-race CRL Global Cup, a championship within a championship that will send the series to five different venues around the globe. More on that once we get to it. This is also the first full season where we will have 42 cars per points-paying race. Because of the increase in field size, the point system has undergone a drastic change. The top 33 now score points under the following system. The winner of each race will get 150 points, while the runner-up will get 30 less than that, 120. For positions 2 through 5, points drop in increments of 10, 110 for 3rd, 90, uh, sorry, 100 for 4th, and 90 for 5th. For positions 6 through 10, points drop in increments of 5, 85 points for 6th, uh, 80 points for 7th, 75 for 8th, 70 for 9th, and 65 for 10th. For positions 11 through 15, points drop in increments of 4, 61 for 11th, 57 for 12th, 53 for 13th, 49 for 14th, 45 for 15th. From positions 16 through 20, uh, 26, excuse me, points drop in increments of 3, 42 points for 16th, 39 for 17th, 36 for 18th, 33 for 19th, 30 points for 20th, 27 points for 21st, 24 for 22nd, 21 for 23rd, 18 for 24th, uh, 15 for 25th, and 12 for 26th. Then from positions uh, 27 through 30, points drop in increments of 3, I'm sorry, correction of 2. 10 points for 27th, 8 points for 28th, 6 points for 29th, and 4 points for 30th. And then for positions 31 uh, through 33, Points drop in increments of 1, down to 3, 2, and 1. As you see the rest of the point system scrolling up there on your screen. And there are also some new bonus point opportunities for 2012. As you see, no points for 34th through 32nd. Here are those bonus points opportunities. If you lead at least five laps in a race, you'll get five points. You get five points for winning the pole, ten points for leading the most laps in a race, and a one-time only bonus, your first win of the season will get you 25 extra points. Well, that's it for me. It's time now to turn things over to the television voice of the CRL, Brad Chrisomanis. Thank you very much, Jeff. Good to get the 2012 season underway. Amy Siston captures her first ever. Red Robin pull award in the number 23. Here's the start. That's fourth place starter Bobby Dollar going right to the outside, doing what Miranda Lechleiter did in the uh, developmental division race last night. He runs wide, nearly hits the wall coming out of turn two. Tina Lee into the lead in three, but Dollar's gonna swing around her on the outside and he'll lead the first lap of the season at the line. Bobby Dollar in his first ever CRL start leads his first ever lap. Wouldn't be under green too long. We go under caution on lap three. Only caution of the night. Gordon Moss making contact with Amanda Johnson and spinning up into the wall in turn two. He'd keep going. We're going to look at a helicopter shot here. Going four wide with Giordano Modesto, uh, Amanda Johnson, and Mark Stall. It looked like Moss went up the track to try and avoid contact with uh, Modesto and got up into Johnson and spun out. And now we are going to be chasing the one car up here, Duvall. There's Moss into the one. It looks like he made just a bit of contact with Moss as he passed by. And Marcelo Ferreira in the 96 also made a little contact with Duvall. We get back to the green. We get back to the restart. And we have a battle for third shaping up between uh, Amy Siston in the 23 and the 79 of Lindsey Morrison. It's a battle for third. That's Tina Lee in second, the reigning series champion. And Morrison and Siston would rage in this battle for quite a while. Morrison, another one of the rookies. She's from Darlington. Now let's talk about our current leader, Bobby Dollar. He's 40. He's from Long Pond, Pennsylvania. He's driving for his own team. He also has a team in Arla. He was a successful D, uh, GT driver, winning four titles and numerous races. He's also a full-time driver in the TM Lights division last year. As you see, the battle for second now raging between Morrison, Siston, and Lee. Things getting hot for the runner-up spot. 
Here's Danny Parker in the 17. He's 17 years old, driving for his dad's team. He's pulling into the pits. Everybody thought he had a flat tire, but the crew couldn't find the real problem. This is only 25 laps in, and he would spend the last 125 laps of the race in that pit stall. So Danny Parker with a mysterious problem that we still don't know what about. I guess we'll hear uh, from the team sometime later on in the night, but Danny Parker in his pit stall for the rest of the night. Here's rookie Jonathan Nielsen-Smith. He started 14th. He's up to A. He's from Carbondale, Illinois. He has won a few events at, um, the, at the Carbondale Raceway, which will be a CRL venue later in the season in September. It's going to be... Uh, going to be kind of warm once we get to Carbondale in the late summer, early fall. Wild race we had there last year. Looking forward to another run there. Back to Amy Siston. Started from the pole, sitting in third. She's only 19 years old. She's debuting alongside Joe Olnick Engineering. She is, uh, that's one of the teams using Juno engines. System uh, Siston is from Lakeville, Connecticut. And she's doing a very good job here in her CRL Modified Division debut, obviously with a fast car if she's starting for pole and chasing Lindsey Morrison, who now sits in second as they continue to chase Dollar. The oldest driver in the CRL Modified Division is Dave Bloomer Sr. He's 90 years old. He's the father of Dave Bloomer's Jr. He replaces Johnny Bellows at Bloomer's Family Racing. Bellows actually won the qualifying race for the uh, British Columbia Grand Prix last season, which was a points-paying race under a different scale. So Bellows and this team have a CRL Modified Division win, but the team going in a different direction, opting to hire Dave Bloomer Sr. Here's Sean Suzuka, put his two drivers, Rowlin Hayden and Lyman Mills in the developmental division, and he hopped in the 09 car himself. Yes, he is the man who owns Suzuka Corps. Um, he has raced late, mo late models since the age of 16. He has one modified division title as an owner. That was Hayden's title in 08. And the Suzuka Corps has all won 12 races in the modified division. All of those won by Ryland Hayden. Hayden struggling the last couple of years down in the developmental division. Here's Alan Musico, the 2009 champ. He started in uh, 39th, I think that said, and he's only up to 34th. New sponsor, same old luck for the 09 champ running in the back. Here's Amy Siston as we go back to the battle for second, trying to go around the outside of Lindsey Morris. High line works here at Irwindale. Siston on the outside in two, down the back stretch into three. And Siston is going to complete the pass of Morrison as they come off of turn four. And Amy Siston sets her sights on leader Bobby Dollar. She goes right up behind him there. And these two would begin the battle for the lead. And it would rage on for quite a while. That's, uh, I think that's Jared Couch in the 95 car, one of the two uh, Juno development team entries that Dollar's sitting behind. Here's rookie Steven Zonta in the 06, going around the outside of the old man, Dave Bloomer Sr. for seventh spot. Zonta, uh, I think I might have some info on Zonta later on, not sure. Anyway, back to the leader, Bobby Dollar. That is Jared Couch, and he's going around the outside of Couch. Dollar is lapping him and putting a car between himself and Amy Siston. That's Erica Fortner in the 229 sitting in front of Dollar, and Fortner will become a factor in this battle for the lead. There's Dollar trying to lap her. He's trying to go around the inside. That's perhaps not the best move because the outside line works and Fortner manages to stay on the lead lap. She actually puts some sunlight between herself or daylight between herself uh, and Bobby Dollar and he falls right back into the clutches of Siston. And here we go. Siston's going around the outside of Dollar. This is lap 101, and there's Fortner drifting up the track, going into two, opens up the high line for Siston. Siston's gonna try and dive through. She's on the outside of Dollar, going into three, and Amy Siston is gonna get around and pass Bobby Dollar for the lead, coming off of turn four. Dollar leads the first 101 laps, and Siston grabs the lead away from him with 49 left. Somebody is making the inside line work. Majuto Sukeyama in the 003 battling with Abraham Solomon Swartz. Um, that is a battle for 10th. And he goes around the inside of Solomon Swartz to get 10th spot. 
And now he's going to have a battle with Jason Cruz in the 87. Su uh, Sukiyama this time using the outside line. He's going to get around uh, Cruz for ninth. And now he's going to try and get around Steven Santa on the outside for eighth spot. And he's going to get around there. So Sukiyama moving up three positions in rapid succession from 10th, uh, sorry, from 11th to 8th in a span of about two laps. Unbelievable. Battle for fifth between Jonathan Nielsen Smith. We talked about him and Quentin Reuter in the uh, number nine car, another one of the rookies in the field. And he's going to get around Reuter Nielsen Smith is. So he's now in fifth. He sets his sights on Tina Lee for fourth. And Nielsen Smith, he would be one of the fastest cars late in the going. And here he is now going around the outside of Lee for fourth. So Jonathan Nielsen Smith from 14th to fourth, and he's still not done. He's gonna complete the pass coming off of turn four, and he sets his sights on Lindsey Morrison for third, aiming to see if he can get that final podium position in the dying laps of this race. So Jonathan Nielsen Smith with an excellent run in his CRL Modified Division debut. Back to the leader, Amy Siston, and she is finally gonna get around Erica Fortner and lap the 229 car. She does what Bobby Dollar could not do. And she Siston puts the car between herself and Dollar. Back to Jonathan Nielsen Smith. Tina Lee going around the outside of Quentin Reuter for fifth. Actually, they're in, locked in a battle for fifth. Siston is gonna win the fight, and then she's gonna, I'm sorry, Lee's gonna win the fight, and then she's gonna go back around the outside of Nielsen Smith for fourth, and Reuter's gonna try and pass Nielsen Smith for fifth. So an unbelievable battle ranging in the bottom uh, part of the top five as we get towards the end of this race. Now Mijutsu Sukeyama once again, he's in uh, eighth spot and he's gonna try and go around the outside of uh, Dave Bloomer Sr. for seventh spot. There he is going around the outside coming off of turn four now into turn one. And Sukeyama is going to get the spot as the battle for fourth continues to race between Ruder Lee and Nielsen Smith. This is unbelievable stuff. But Amy Siston is the story here. Started from pole, lost the lead on the first lap, got it back from Bobby Dollar with 49 laps to go. And Amy Siston wins the 2012 Pizza Hut 150 at Irwindale for her first CRO Modified Division win in her first start. And here is Nielsen Smith battling with Reuter for fifth in the final lap. Lee is in fourth. She's going to uh, finish in that position, but Nielsen Smith gets fifth away from Quentin Reuter, and Jonathan Nielsen Smith finishes fifth in his CRL Modified Division debut. And now Chris Winter comes off of turn four. He finishes 33rd and captures the final point. So not a great start to the season for Chris Winter, but a great start to her CRL Modified Division career for Amy Siston leading the final 49 laps and capturing her first CRL Modified Division win in her first start. It's Juno's first CRL Modified Division win and Joe Olnick Enterprises, uh, Joe Olnick en Engineering's first CRL Modified Division win as well in their debut. Uh, Siston gets five points for leading at least five laps, five points for winning the pole, and 25 points for her first win of the season. And now look at the top 33 in race results. Amy Siston with the win. She gets 185 points. Bobby Dollar finishes second. Five points for leading at least five laps. Ten for leading the most laps. Lindsey Morrison rounds out the podium. Tina Lee finishes fourth. Jonathan Nielsen Smith finishing in fifth. Quentin Reuter finishing in sixth. Majutu Sukeyama brings it home in seventh. He was a wild one towards the end of the night. Uh, Dave Bloomer Sr. finishes eighth. Andrew Tamerzan with a quiet debut to finish ninth. Jason Cruz comes home in tenth. Abraham Solomon Swartz, the first Israeli in the CRL Modified Division, finishes 11th. Jason Breck from Montreal, Quebec, finishes in 12th. Steven Zonta comes home in 13th, fell back late in the going. Kenneth Collier, driving the 45 for MT Motorsports, brings it home in 14th. Rush McLeod finishes 15th. The cleverly named Patio Furniture finishes in 16th. Sean Suzuka finishes in 17th. Jason Teller Sr. starts his second season with an 18th place finish. Carl Loggins won twice last year. He finishes 19th tonight. Melody Falls, Mike's daughter, finishes in 20th. Daisy Falls, Melody's sister, finishes 21st. Amanda Johnson finishes 22nd. 
Robert Lechleiter, formerly Robert Klesel, finishes 23rd. Liam D'Souza, Gary's brother, finishes 24th. Sven Petterson finishes 25th in his debut. Cherokee Williams debuts with a 26th place finish. C.J. Long, he's better than this. He finished 27th. Dave Bloomers Jr. finishes 28th. Giordano Modesto debuts with a 29th place finish. Mark Stallin in his debut finishes 30th. Ryan Adams in his debut finishes 31st. Kurt Shelton with a 32nd place finish. And you saw Chris Winter capture the final point, finish 33rd. We're going north to the Pacific Northwest to the Portland International Raceway in Oregon for the Portland.com Grand Prix in round two. We'll see you there.